An unfortunate reality on any given night in New York City, around 4,600 kids and young adults are homeless. Some running from danger, others just have no one to turn to. Many find their way to shelters and nonprofits like Covenant House, finally feeling some safety and stability. And then the pandemic hit. Many terrified that Lifeline would disappear. He said, well, we thought you'd close down. Um, and, and we'd have no place to go. That's the expectation. Our young people don't expect um, the adults in their lives necessarily to be there for them. Sister Nancy Downing says that's exactly why Covenant House, which helps to house and support homeless youth, didn't close down. The nonprofit is under Catholic Charities. They've made some major changes to their operations, creating quarantine rooms for the sick, screening newcomers for the virus, wearing masks, and reconfiguring their shelters to limit contact inside. Once a week, they go out and bring them groceries and other supplies because many of our young people, unfortunately, have lost their jobs because of the virus. Despite all of the safety precautions, COVID-19 still made it through the door. Ten kids got sick. Seven have since recovered. And, you know, we've had some staff who have gotten sick. Shakima North was one of them. Like many, she was unable to get tested, but she did have coronavirus symptoms. She went back to work at Covenant House as soon as her self-quarantine ended. Yeah, those are my kids. So. <laughs> she knows what could happen if the shelter isn't open. You would have young people trying to make it work right in homes that weren't safe. According to city data, 34% of kids are homeless because of abuse or frequent fights with a parent. The United Nations reports that domestic violence is soaring because of the pandemic. Jobs are gone, routines are messed up, kids are stuck home and isolated from others. The perfect storm. So for Covenant House, the risk and the changes needed to keep operating are worth it. You would have young people back on the streets, right? So finding maybe a bench or a park or which would which would even be limited, right? Because the parks were even closed or sleeping on the subways. Support is also important. Donations are being accepted online. And last Friday, they held their annual sleep out event, a major fundraiser virtually. Anyone in immediate need of help can go to their shelter here at 550 10th Avenue, or you can reach out through their website. In Midtown Manhattan, Emily Druby, Currents News. If you're watching Currents News on YouTube, be sure to hit the subscribe button and then click on the bell to get instant updates about all of our newest content because we are putting your faith in the news.